Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today I am playing another episode of Developer Dump. Uh, where uh, in my inbox I get so many developer emails every week asking me to play uh, new and up and coming games and this was one of them. This is called Pinewood Island and it's a visual novel. I know there's a ton of people that love visual novels and ask for me to do them all the time here on YouTube. So I thought why not check this one out. It seems to be kind of creepy by the skull motif and this music that I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, basically that's all I have on it is just that it's a creepy game visual novel called Pinewood Island. Um, so let's check it out. It says adult situations, sexual context, violence, potentially upsetting situations, and content. Got it. Just what we like. Oh, the art's cute! So our name is Morty. Duh. Uh, my appearance. Oh, cool. You can change stuff. So... Uh, you can change all about your hair. Whoa, rainbow highlights. It's just do black. Uh, skin, you can go through a whole gambit. Uh, outfits. Oh my gosh, this art is adorable. Well, you don't really have much in the way of outfits. Uh, underwear. Oh shit. Can we see the underwear options? Why does the underwear matter? That's weird, because you have clothes that's like covering it up anyways. Why does that matter? And sweater. Oh, cute. Uh, yes, sweater. Always wear a sweater. Everything was packed and I was almost ready to leave. I was about to spend four weeks on a secluded island. I had art, uh, I also had to study plants while I was there, but it counted for double the science credits. After applying for the grant, I almost forgot about it. What were the odds that I'd be awarded the funds to go? Then a week ago, I got an email telling me that the essay had been, uh, I got an email telling me that my essay had been the best. So not only was it an island trip, but it was paid for. I never could have afforded it otherwise. There had been a quick online meeting, but I couldn't tell if I would know anyone from that. It's not like I had seen their faces or full names. There were also a lot of rules about staying on, out of the water. It was fall and kind of chilly, but still, it seemed like overkill. But how did I feel about getting stuck on an island for a month? There wouldn't be any internet or cell reception, and I probably wouldn't know anyone there. Are you kidding me? That sounds like heaven! Okay, so we can choose. It'll be a lot of fun. Maybe there'll be lots of cute guys. Don't care as long as I get double the credits towards my science requirement. That'd be a good way to make some friends. It's almost like a free vacation. I guess it's something to do. It's almost like a free vacation, man. A loud buzzing from my phone made me jump. It was time. I had to go. I checked everything over one last time and grabbed my suitcase. Oh, wow. That looks like almost a real picture. It's 3D rendered though, right? Ugh. The boat ride was longer than I thought it would be, and I spent most of the trip in the bathroom miserable. Apparently, I got seasick. When the boat had finally docked to the beach, I was the first one off of it. I stumbled when my feet touched solid ground, but I was too relieved to care. I simply let myself fall onto the sand. The nice, immobile sand. Oh, shit. Are you okay? You look a little unwell. Uh, I'm starting to feel better now, thanks. I took some slow breaths and looked up at the guy who spoke. You're Ray, right? Didn't we have that math class together? Oh, an English comp. I remember seeing him before because I thought he was cute. I really hoped he didn't show my face at that moment. Yeah, we've had a bunch of classes together. Morty, right? Yeah, I'm so glad there's someone I know here. I didn't get a chance to meet anyone on the boat. My plan to get to know the others while we traveled to the island had been ruined by my sensitive stomach. So you're the girl who was locked in the bathroom the whole time. Oh my god, is it Thelma from Scooby-Doo? Yeah, that was me. I'm Morty. Nice to meet you. Man, she does not look welcoming. I'm Mary. After giving her name, she paused for a moment. I waited for her to say something else. But then she just walked away without another word. Well, she was... Yeah. I'm gonna go on ahead. I'll see you around, though. Okay, great. Ray left, and the professor and his TA walked up to me. Morty, good to see you. You're looking better. Oh my god, they're so cute. Yeah, everyone was worried. I'm Susan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Professor Kent. Nice to meet you, Susan. Let's continue all of these introductions inside. He turned away from me and shouted so that the others could hear him. Follow me inside, everyone. He walked away, with Susan following close behind him. This is giving me, like, House on Haunted Hill vibes. There were five students there, and then me. Besides us, there was also the Professor and Susan. There were five students and me. Cool. I tried to see if there was anyone else I could recognize on the walk to the house, but there was no one. 
Still, there was Ray. I was surprised how nice it was to see a familiar face. A guy about my age found a step beside me. He was very tall and also quite attractive. That's a guy? Dude, he's so cute! Dude, guys with long hair are A+, plus, dude. Hey there, what's your name? I'm Morty, you? I'm Carl. So what's a pretty girl like you doing with all the science nerds? Look like fun? Oh my god. Well, now that you're here, it will be. Oh, um, see you around. Oh my god, weird. I wondered if his looks let him get away with all of that blatant flirting. So friendly. I heard someone scoff just behind me, so I turned around to see who it was. Oh my god, what a cutie! A guy I hadn't met yet was looking out at the water. When he noticed me looking at him, he turned to face me, clearly amused. Don't be too flattered. He's already flirted like that with the other girls here. I guess he had seen the exchange between Carl and myself. Oh, uh, oh, figures or whatever. Whatever. Uh, Matt, whatever. It's not like I'm here to get a boyfriend or something. Sure, I thought he was cute, and when I thought about it, that Matt guy was cute too. Shit, I should have played it cool, Morty. Well, I just thought you should know. I'm Matt, by the way. Thanks, I'm Morty. He gave me a polite nod and then left. A large mansion came into view. Wow, this is like all like 3D modeled shit. A large mansion came into view and I stumbled while gawking up at it. I had read up in the information packets so that we would have each our own room, but it hadn't occurred to me how big the house would be. The packet had also said they would, uh, we would be responsible for cooking and cleaning up after ourselves. The only people on the island were us, and we were expected to leave it the way we had found it for the next group. I really wish that they had drawn the backgrounds in the same styles as the characters. I feel like this is like distracting. We all walked in and there was a grand entrance room with stairs to an upper level. Things looked clean, but maybe a little too sterile. Of course, no one lived here regularly, so that's probably why. I looked around, but no one other than Ray and I seemed to be in awe of the place. Our eyes met, and I smiled and shrugged. I didn't want to call attention to myself, but it felt good that I wasn't alone in my gawking. Ray started to walk towards me, but the professor told us to head on into the dining room. <laughs> he looks too young to be professor. Oh, shit. Uh, why don't we all go around the room and introduce ourselves one at a time to say a few things about yourself, like what you're majoring in, that sort of thing. I'm sure you've all done this before. He looked around, but no one was looking at him or each other. I'll start. You can call me Kent or Professor or even Professor Kent. I'm head of the botany program at the university. I'll be staying in the master suite on the main floor, so if any of you need anything, this is where I will be. Except for when we're doing excursions and labs, of course. He then sat down and Carl quickly stood up. Everyone shifted their attention to him. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. I'm an environmental science major and I also happen to be single. He winked at me before sitting back down. Oh my god. I looked down and hoped that I hadn't blushed or looked like an idiot. I'm Mary. I'm a biomedical engineer, uh, biochemical engineering major. I need this program to graduate early. Um, yeah. She swiftly sat back down. I'm Matt. I major in English and I'm taking this to satisfy my science requirements. He glanced around the room for a moment and our eyes met briefly. He gave me a smile before sitting back down. A guy I hadn't met yet stood slowly. He looked like he would rather jump out of the nearest window than speak to everyone. Aww. I am Jesse. Geology. He clumsily sat back down, almost falling on the floor instead of sitting on the chair. He shot a quick look around the room, but no one reacted. That seemed to make him relax a little bit. Hi everyone, I'm Susan. I'm actually here as a TA, so if you need any help, uh, this teacher's assistant by the way, uh, just let me know. I'm here mainly to assist in the lab. She sat back down and when our eyes met, she gave me a small wave. She seemed to be more cheerful than everyone else in the room combined. The next student, I hadn't met yet either, he stood up gracefully and pulled his cuff on his cuff before speaking. You may all call me Joey. I'm here for more, uh, I'm more... I'm here more for a vacation, so if there's any, or if there are no objections, I'm going to be heading to my room now. Wow. With that, he walked out of the room. We all looked at each other, and then at the Professor Kent, uh, Professor, Professor Kent just shrugged and motioned for us to continue. It was Ray's turn next, and then mine. I'm Ray. I'm undecided, but I thought this would be a nice trip. He glanced to me before sitting down. I gave him what I hoped was an encouraging smile. He smiled at me before sitting back down. Shit, it's my turn now. I forced a smile and tried to stand up without showing my nerves. Hi, I'm Morty. It's really nice to be on this trip. As for my major... Oh shit. Literature, communications, biology, or education. Let's do literature. I'm a literature major. I'm not sure what to, what I do yet. Um, what I want to do yet. But it seems like a good fit for me. I sat back down and looked around the room. Everyone's attention was elsewhere, though, as Ken stood to resume speaking. Now that the pleasantries are out of the way, I encourage you all to relax tonight. 
The pantry is full of food, we have plenty of supplies, and there's no cell reception, so I suggest you get better acquainted with each other, or it'll be a long four weeks. Joey strode back into the room, looking very annoyed. Should I assume there's no internet either? I was as if to completely cut us off on this island for four weeks. He was acting like a jerk, but he kind of had a point. The informational packet didn't mention that we would be so... cut off. Relax, there is a landline. Susan knows first aid, and we aren't going to be doing anything dangerous. If you say so... With that final comment, he left the room again. I looked around, but no one else seemed to be alarmed by what the professor was saying. I decided to not let it bother me either. So now you all know what uh, know that we don't have. So now you all know that we also don't have Wi-Fi. The phone is in the kitchen. I trust you all to figure it out. Now everyone is dismissed. Go unpack and make yourselves at home. The lab is to the right of the house, and the greenhouse is to the left. They're big, so hard to miss. Your rooms are upstairs. I looked down at the packet, which I had unfolded up and shoved in my pocket. My rooms were assigned, and I rechecked the room number I had been given. Before anyone could leave the room, though, Susan caught our attentions. I have the itinerary, everyone. This is a copy for each of you, but I bought extras in case you lose them. He started to hand them out, and I looked down at mine. I was surprised to see so much free time had been allowed to us. I assumed we would be really busy. It was supposed to be an intensive program. Thanks, Susan. I'm heading up to my room. Yeah, me too. Uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Susan started to leave, but then Mary spoke up. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm sorry, what's wrong? How can this schedule possibly satisfy eight hours of botany credits? I was told this program would count as two classes as opposed to one. It will, since it's um very hands-on and... Chill out, Mary. You'll get the credit, whether you do the work or not. Professor Ken is very laid back. Fine, whatever. Mary, if you like, I could talk to Professor Kent and see if you're willing to add more to the program. Then everyone will hate me. No thanks. I don't care as long as I still get the credit. I need to graduate as soon as possible. I started to back away from them. Mary seemed a little intense. I didn't have the energy to stick around her too long. I started As I started to walk up the stairs, I caught sight of Professor Kent heading to his room with a bottle of red wine. Ooh. Matt had said he was laid back. Perhaps it was more vacation for him as well as Joey. I lugged my suitcase upstairs while the others did the same uh, or was still talking with Susan about the itinerary. Oh man, well, next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, let's check out our room. Uh, let me know down below if you guys want to see me do another episode of this. Um, this was another game, like I said, from the developer uh, dump series. This is just another developer who emailed me and asked if I would play this on Kitty Cat Gaming. Sent it to me for free, not getting paid for this. Um, and this is called Pinewood Island um, from Steam. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more. And please be sure that subscribe button so you guys don't miss the next episode. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!